Could Edward Snowden be right? Even if you're not doing anything wrong, you're being watched and recorded. Is the National Security Agency's collection of massive amounts of telephone and Internet data really necessary to keep the country safe? The information gathered from these programs provided the U.S. government with critical leads to help prevent over 50 potential terrorist events in more than 20 countries. What is less clear is whether these specific programs now in the news uh, were themselves crucial to breaking up these plots. The NSA tried to make its case by offering some details on terror plots it says would not have been uncovered solely with traditional law enforcement. In the matter of Najibullah Zazi, who plotted to attack the New York subway? The Zazi uh, uh, plot um, was intercepted as a result of an email which was sent by an al-Qaeda operative in Pakistan uh, to Najibullah Zazi uh, in uh, Denver, Colorado. Before that email was sent, the United States had no idea a plot was in the works to attack New York. Case number two, the U.S. monitored an extremist in Yemen communicating with a man in the U.S. who was arrested for plotting to bomb the New York Stock Exchange. Case number three, monitoring of an al-Qaeda terrorist led to American David Headley's plan to bomb a newspaper office that published a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad. This is going to have to be the beginning of a campaign by the government to make their case to the American people. And I don't think that the, the small amount of details that were given today in an unclassified setting are going to be enough to satisfy the American people. Officials also talked about a fourth plot in which electronic surveillance helped to stop financial support for an overseas terrorist. But they offered few details about it all. Barbara Starr, CNN, the Pentagon.